Good eye. It's Hayley from Wicked Weeks. Who would have thought it'd be hot in July? Ah, uh, I wouldn't have thought it. Hundreds over there. Hundreds over there. Hundreds over there. But this is not news right here because it's always hot there. What would be news is if they had excessive heat warnings. So speaking of which, here's your excessive heat warnings. And see the darker shade? That would be an excessive heat watch. Oh, and this lighter sh the oranges are heat advisories and then see this is a darker shade of pink and it's a lighter shade of pink it's a red flag warning conditions are very dry and hot and fires are in danger of setting themselves here's a map with h's and l's so it says tay day dawn tropical depression dawn so there's the low pressure system associated with the tropical depression dawn and here is the five day quantitative precipitation outlook of forecast i forget which word they use but as you if you watched yesterday you might have noticed that there was going to be buckets and buckets of rain in the southern tip of texas apparently that's all over tropical depression dawn has already done his raining oh, i don't know what does a tropical depression do he's dumping buckets he's carrying buckets of buckets of water over from the ocean and says hey have this here's today's severe weather outlook we've got a slight risk up in there as we often do this time of year here's the specific to wind so as you can see uh, washington and oregon idaho hey uh, you might see some wind you might not and a whole bunch of states over here might see some wind here's the hail where we've got as high as a 30 percent chance and then there's black area out around it is where there's a chance of significant hail so everybody else one inch hail you guys you've got a chance of two inch or larger hail that would be a big hailstone and here is the tornado chance, 5% chance up in, what is that? That is Minnesota, I think. It's the one I keep pronouncing funny. I can't do it tonight because I'll totally lose the accent. Mm, and here's tomorrow, isn't it? North Dakota, Montana, and South Dakota. Slight risk over there. Here's your probabilities, and it's apparently split into quadrants today. So there's your slight risk. But here's the 5% surrounding it. And then a 5% chance all up in there. This is of any severe weather event happening. 5% chance over there. 5% chance over there. So, like, we've got coverage all over the United States. How about that? 10% chance. 10% chance of stuff happening out in the eastern Pacific. Over the Atlantic, we have post-tropical cyclone Dawn whose maximum sustained winds are apparently down to 30 miles per hour. We have the non-news of near 0%, and we have the news of 70%. And I'm not sure, but I think this is the path, the, the, the models. If this turns into a tropical storm or even a tropical depression, here here's some models what they're saying so some of them show maybe it could curve away this i think this one i'm not sure xtrp i think is what that one is it seems like it's always showing it going straight see look at like what like that shows that uh okay that one maybe not but it seems like it almost always shows it going straight booking straight ahead so basically we don't know enough yet to talk about this one in regards to the United States anyway. It could be up there, it could, I don't know, it could go to Texas apparently. Anyway, so we'll keep an eye on that as we always do over at Wicked Wicks. Well, I keep an eye on it. There's nothing about hurricanes on the site yet. I should do something about that, yep. Wicked Wicks is W-I-C-K-A-D W-X.com. You stop by, have a cookie, whatever. I don't supply cookies though, you have to bring your own. And you take it easy, stay out of the heat, 